Happy Wednesday and welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan Knows Tech with TechInform.us, our technology blog. And I got a request from yesterday's video talking about Apple uh, announcing their October 4th, which is next Tuesday, uh, event when they're going to talk about the iPhone. And that that uh, request, rather, was uh, one that I honestly didn't really think a whole lot about, but I really should have. And I want to apologize for that. October is always, September, October is when Apple always uh, releases updates to the iPod line. Last year, they weren't really that big. We got a new iPod Touch, we saw a new Nano. Uh, I don't believe they did a whole lot to the shuffle and I'm fairly certain they didn't touch the classic. So this year, the iPhone has totally stolen the show away from the usual iPod updates, which makes sense, the iPhone is uh, a more important device in terms of sales. I think they sell a lot more iPhones than about anything else. iPhones and iPads are their big two things. So what can we expect, if anything, next Tuesday about Apple's iPod, which has been around for what, eight, nine years now with the, the first whatever the hell it was back in like 03. Um, and I think that we will see some new iPods, but they're not going to be big updates anymore. Let's face it, Apple has moved on to things that make more money that more people buy. Here's one of them. Um, not saying that the iPod Nano Touch Classic Shuffle, not saying those are very popular, those aren't popular devices because they are, but they just don't compare as much. So uh, the iPod Touch, I think that's Apple's most um, popular, popular, I can't talk, popular uh, iPod. So with that, uh, yeah, I think we will see a new one. It may not, it's not going to be the star of the show, but it'll be pretty big, just behind the iPhone 4S, 5, both, whatever they're going to do with that. I made that video yesterday if you want to hear about it. Uh, but the iPhone, or the iPod 5, or the iPod Touch 5 at this point, my guess will be quite a bit like the iPhone 5. I think we'll see the A5 dual core, uh, 2 gigahertz dual core, a gigabyte of RAM. Uh, case, I doubt they'll change the casing on it. It's a fantastic case. Why mess with it? They didn't change it from the 2G to the 3G. And then the 4G was a little bit thinner and more contoured, I think. Or actually a little bit more flat, but it, it kind of curved on the edges a little more. Um, the camera, I really hope they update the cameras, uh, if nothing else, to the ones that are on the iPhone 4 right now. The VGA in the front, which I think this one has on the back, as well as that 5 megapixel sensor on the rear, which is incredible. It is very high quality. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to see uh, the new iPod Touch with those specifications. Pricing, I doubt pricing will change. They'll still do their 32 and 64 gigs uh, capacities. The, the Nano. I. Honestly, do not have a real strong opinion about the Nano. I know a lot of people didn't like that they got rid of its video camera and features like that from the last generation Nano, but I don't think they're going to add those back. They may not even update it. It's possible they would discontinue it, but I think that they should have something a little bit lower priced than the iPod Touch for maybe somebody that doesn't want a touchscreen. Believe it or not, there are, there are those people. So we'll have to see on that one. Now the rumor has it from Mac rumors that the classic as well as the shuffle will be discontinued. And quite honestly, I can see that uh, happening very easily. The classic, they haven't updated it in like two years. It's got a small display. It's a hard drive. It's big. It's clunky. It clicks. The hard drive will break if you drop it a couple times. You're not really going to hurt an iPhone uh, by dropping it, except the screen may crack. But uh, I do not expect a classic or a shuffle update. They may still sell them or they may totally take them off the market. I, I don't know. Personally, a, a business decision would probably be, uh, the best way to do that would just be to quietly discontinue both models. I don't think they're selling a lot of them. I don't have their analyst sales records in front of me right now, but from what I see, at least around here, nobody has a new Shuffle or a new Nano. And the thing with the Shuffle is the new, or the classic rather, the new Nano is so small, it's got a clip on it, I think. Uh, so why would you buy the Shuffle without a screen over the Nano that's about the same size, more capacity, yes, it is more money. That's probably the big kicker here is it's like $100 more. But if they were to bring the price down on the Nano, uh, I think they could definitely get rid of the shuffle. So uh, those are kind of my thoughts of what's going to go on next Tuesday. Leave your thoughts and concerns and comments and questions and stuff down below and I'll get back to that. Uh, stick around for a video. I may be hosting a live show next Monday or Tuesday or both. Uh, on our live stream show. I'll make a video about it uh, to let you know at least a day ahead of time, I hope. 
uh, to talk about the rumors or if it's actually if it's after the event by the time I get around to it trust me things are pretty busy around here then uh, then we'll definitely talk about what they released and who's gonna buy what and stuff like that I know I haven't had a show for a long time but I do plan on getting back into that uh, now that the leaves are changing out there and I'll be inside more uh, within a few weeks so uh, again those are my thoughts uh, please leave yours down below uh, check out our site techinform.us we've uh, been getting a lot of a lot of more stuff up recently. And then my Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz if you'd like to talk with me personally or Facebook, Google+, Plus, any of those places. Uh, until next time, that'll be tomorrow's video. But uh, yeah, okay. I'll talk to you on Thursday, guys. Bye-bye.